Hey fam, hey masculine. I hope you guys are doing well. Happy Friday. Happy Friday to you. This is going to be a quick collective message, okay? I think I'm going to start calling these, um, like these messages that I be doing when I be out or like these blackout messages, like wherever I be at, that's what the message going to be. <laughs> so we're going to put an on the road, uh, reading god damn it okay on the road reading for masculine fam okay your discernment universal love is here okay you are definitely loved by the ethers by the universe by god himself everything that god has created to protect you and to be of assistance to you you are loved by it okay here's what i heard so you have cosmic flower and synergy coming out let me get one more yeah divine masculine so a lot of you all are definitely about to merge with your fucking divine masculine or your divine feminine. Now I will say that I am proud of you, masculine, for you morasokas that is stepping up to the plate and going to go get your fucking feminines, okay? Going to make sure that you're doing your part, okay? Uh you may not know this person, fam, is what I'm hearing. A lot of you all don't know this person or you don't know them well. <laughs> You may know of this person, but you don't know them that good or something. Okay, a lot of these are celebrity masculines. A lot of these masculines might have been threatened by, you know, somebody in the field. You know, one of them. They might have been threatened by somebody, one of them boys. You know, okay. TikTok is in the reverse, so yeah, this masculine um feels like they're uh a little bit you know too late or you know maybe somebody is getting some time to do something here exchanging gifts and by the book yeah so this masculine definitely is not going by the rules this masculine is gonna do what the fuck he wants because i feel like this person has a leg up this person got uh money put up as well so whatever the fuck somebody's trying to threaten them they're gonna give a fuck okay that fork in the road came up okay somebody loves deer or maybe you like hunting maybe your dad or your mom used to hunt or something here Something is uh, come to a complete end regarding a um, karmic cycle, I feel. Yeah, not for you came in the reverse. So this definitely is for you, Divine Masculine. Okay, here, imagine this masculine sits up all day and fucking night thinking about this motherfucking feminine, okay? I feel like you all go perfect together. If it's not one, the other one don't matter either, okay? It's, it's, it's one or both. It's both or none. Between worlds is in the reverse. I'm loving this here, fam masculine. So, fam, your masculine definitely has made up their mind. Okay, there's that regeneration. I feel like, um, yeah, peace is here with unfinished symphony. Yeah, this is like unfinished business. Time to go building blocks. Spirit is telling this person that, bro, you need to go ahead and move. You need to make a fucking move. So, a lot of these masculines are making movement towards you. Beauty's truth. They think you're very beautiful. Um, this masculine, I feel, can speak to the dead or something. This masculine definitely is very gifted. Or this could be you, fam. I feel like you both got gifts. Yeah, new love, courtship, romance, falling in love. I feel like both of y'all have gifts that you're supposed to be using, okay? Um, right now, I feel like the pressure's on both of you. So don't fall for any tricks of the enemy, okay? If you've been doing something, stick to doing that. If you've been being consistent, consi uh, stick to being consistent, okay? There's a lot of feminists that's about to find out about a copycat ass hoe right here. Okay, here you're going to find out that your sister's a fucking loser and your mother. You're, all these motherfuckers are liars. You got a whole lot of family, okay, this weekend that you're going to be finding out some fuck shit about. And I feel like you and your masculine is on the same wave. Okay, here. And literally, when this person sees you, they're going to wave you down or some shit. Okay, here. So, um... Whatever the case may be, I feel like um, you're not going to see any of this coming. You need to slow down so you can see what's truly going on around you, fam. Because this masculine is awakened. They're woken. Oh, yeah, so they can't, they, can't, they can't do shit in secret no more. This masculine has to come to the forefront. This person can't just sit back and stalk you anymore. They got to come and say something to you. I feel like this person might feel like they're running out of time, but they don't. Yeah. They're not running out of time yet. Your ancestors fuck with this person. Whoever the hell this person is that's inter uh, interested in you, I feel like spirit put this put you on this person's path some kind of way anyway because they wanted you all to be together. Okay, your spirit definitely orchestrated this. Is what I feel. What else is here? So you got this fairy lovers. This new. Um, <clears throat> this new. It's, it's just a. I feel like a lot of new, 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 new. 
Let's go here for the collective for this quick on the road read. I, I really truly feel like whatever you've been doing, feel masculine, um, stick to that. Be consistent. Yeah. So this is the yeah the distant horizons in the reverse here courtship. I mean courthouse. Sorry. Um, bad health in the reverse lovers card. Yeah, this is definitely a soulmate. Maybe from the past. Don't know. Could be a past soulmate or a past lifetime soulmate. Somebody is trying to steal some shit from you, fam, masculine. I feel like that's why there's a need or some kind of urgency spirit is urging this person to move towards you. Because there's time is of the essence is what I heard. Yeah, the lovers card keeps coming up. Yeah, you got a gift right here for you, fam, masculine. There's, a, there's literally a gift here for you. I feel like you got to make a move. Yeah, a journey. Somebody might be coming towards you without, you know, telling you. Maybe they can't. Yeah, so you got an ex here too, fam, masculine. Or you got a family member that's a, a male. This person is about to go to jail. Yeah, because they're not high honor. They're a fucking loser here. This person was stealing. They were stealing shit from you, okay? Your thoughts is here. Adjudication, yeah. So you got some kind of unexpected money coming as well. But a lot of this shit, bad health in the reverse. So yeah, imprisonment. Like I felt, somebody is going to motherfucking jail. And this person going to snitch. Somebody name could start with a C or an M. Yeah, a gift is coming out again. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> you don't have to share your accomplishments with the world. That's what I heard. Do what you do, Phil. Okay? Move in silence. Work in silence. And trust me, you will be rewarded in front of a whole lot of people. You're not even worried about this, but... I feel like you got a, a whole lot of people behind the scenes trying to change your fate and they just can't. Somebody is not successful in doing whatever the fuck this is. Yeah, the lover's card came out three times. Wow. Family room. There's some family members here that just don't fuck shit. I feel something is not working out for somebody regardless of money or uh, uh, relationships either. Okay, something that you're not expecting. Fam, this is a, um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, this is a famous person. This person got a lot of clout and money. I feel like a karmic was doing magic on this person and that shit is just not working. I feel like as long as you keep... As long as you keep on the right track, you'll be okay. But as soon as you start to fall into your old ways, that's when shit goes back the way it was. I feel like you're so goddamn close. I'm hearing monitoring spirit. Yeah, you got a lot of monitoring spirits. Just fucking rebuke them demons in Jesus' name. Like you said, Shanita's name. Okay? Don't, don't, don't work. Don't, don't. Keep your cool. Keep doing what you've been doing. Don't allow stress. Like, especially you all who've been, um, and I can resonate with this. Especially you motherfuckers who've been giving up habits and shit like that. Walking away from drinking, smoking, pills, something. I mean, you know, something like that. Stay on the right track. Don't let nothing make you go back to that shit. I'm telling you. Because I feel like as soon as you do, you know, um, you're feeding the demons. Starve these demons. Starve these fucking demons. Starve the demons. Okay, is what I heard. Starve the demons. Because they're entities that, um, you, when you let whatever this habit was go, yeah, look, the, the four of cups. Somebody wants you to miss an opportunity. I feel like somebody was using some kind of addiction against you maybe they were aware of you having this addiction or they were truly the reason why you had the uh fucking addiction this person put this shit on you but they were using this so that okay so a lot of y'all probably be wondering how the fuck are people still connected to my energy i don't even fuck with these people yeah because you got addictions or something like that or something and this person knew about it and they were using that to control you Somehow they were using that to um, connect demons to you or something like that, okay? Yeah, the sub card is in reverse. It's something that you don't know right now, but something that's going to be revealed to you. It seems like you're in the dark about something. The six of wands is in reverse as well. Somebody is just not victorious in anything that they do. The four of swords, it's like when you're sleeping, somebody is trying to tamper with your dreams or trying to tamper with you in the dream state. Okay, here, the seven of cups is in reverse. This person right here definitely does not have a way to do any fucking thing anymore. They were causing a whole lot of illusions. Six of cups, this person from your past. Cancer Pisces, Scorpio. Maybe um, this is your brother or something, your little brother or your big brother. You know, uh, there's that hermit energy. You're minding your business doing shit to change your life and shit. 
and I feel like you got this two of cups coming. This masculine is being urged to come to you, period. This masculine is having all kind of dreams. I feel like this masculine had a dream that you passed away or something, fam. We're going to rebuke that in Jesus' name. It's Shanita's name here. Okay, you're not going to pass away, but maybe that's the way uh, Spirit showed them that you might have died in a past life. So, yeah, this is definitely a past life soulmate. You're going to meet this person. You're going to be pregnant within a week or two. I, I read this energy yesterday, okay? Yeah, so these masculines, somebody got a K in their name or something like that. Kendrick, Kendrick or, or Katie or Chiron, Chiron, something like that. Chiron, Byron. What the hell, bro? <laughs> Whatever you doing, feel masculine. Fit to that shit, bro. Don't don't get weak. Don't don't um don't doubt yourself. I feel. I'm trying to get this card, y'all. Is there a ten of wow? The fucking ten of swords. Wow. This shit is stuck in my damn feet. So the ten of swords just popped up here. Okay, I feel like this is something that you just can't control. Some kind of betrayal that happened. There's that damn page of swords. Libra Gemini Aquarius. What the fuck is this? Child, y'all got y'all got a bunch of motherfucking snakes around you. Okay. You literally have snakes that are surrounding you. I feel like whatever it is that you want to do, you need to go ahead and just fucking do it. Don't don't procrastinate and don't let nobody make you feel like you're making the wrong choices. Because I feel like these same people that are trying to make you feel like you're doing something wrong don't know what the fuck they're doing with their goddamn life. These same motherfucking people that try to convince you to do something different or, you know, to try to convince you that you're not doing the right shit. These are the same people that have no fucking idea where the fuck they need to be in life. They have no idea. They don't know what they're doing. Why the fuck would you take advice or follow behind a bitch or a nigga that don't even have nothing to show for what the fuck they always talking about? This person is always motherfucking telling you what the fuck the, the next best move is for you, but they don't know how to move shit for them to have no goddamn move. Hey, you are a good person. You are a good person. God bless you. Because anybody else, that would have been gone. You're a good person. Yeah, so this uh, this lady, I want to say that at this damn restaurant, this lady done left her fucking wallet, right? She said, can you, can you look in the wallet and see if I feel my money in there? That bitch had so many motherfucking hundreds and twenties and fifties and shit in her motherfucking wallet. She said, I just went to the bank and she just pulled up. And it's good people out here. When you do good shit, bro, that's how you know. If you, you can lose anything anywhere, your shit will always be safe. You will always be safe. And I had to let her know that she's a good person because she might be having a bad day today. Like, baby, you are a good motherfucking person because if you were a bad person, trust me, your wallet would have been gone. That's how you know. However you live your life, you get results of that, okay? Anyway, my bad job for yelling, but I had to let, uh, let her know that. So there's that motherfucking King of Wands here. This Leo Aries or Sagittarius here. I feel like somebody might be trying to abuse their power or their authority over a situation. Not over you, but over a situation. This could literally be, like I said, I feel like this is a masculine energy who's like of the fucking industry or something. They might have gotten threatened. Yeah, Page of Wands. You know, you about to get some good, like this person going to sneak up on you, Queen of Cups. Page of Coins. Wow. So this this masculine been sitting back watching, waiting, admiring you. They're being sneaky with the seven of swords. They're doing something in secret because they have to. And I'm not gonna say too much about that because bitches be watching me, okay? Here, but that's the palace of swords. Just nothing but the whole motherfucking truth all throughout the goddamn palace, bitch. <laughs> I speak big truth, ho. Something is very significant with dragons and seahorses here. Okay, there's that magician. Somebody's trying to call for goddamn illusion here. Hey, illusions. Somebody might also um, be very significant. I mean, King Triton from um, The Little Mermaid could be very significant. I don't know why I'm seeing King Triton. Triton, whatever the fuck. There's that judgment card. Yeah, somebody's soul is being judged. They're being judged from their soul. Okay, here. From the soul that they hold. Yeah, seahorses are definitely very significant, masculine fam. You're definitely a grand triumph. 
or a grand dream, whatever. I don't care you say that. But just understand somebody is heavily burdened here with the Ten of Wands. And they're trying to bring you um, conflict with the Five of Wands. There's that Queen of Coins in the reversal of the Tower. So, yeah. Y'all just be very careful because there's a karmic here. This karmic, this fishy-ass karmic. This is that fishy bitch. These are a whole group of fishy-ass, karmic-ass hoes. They can't get their pH balance together trying to sit up here and do a magic spell. Oh. I don't feel like you fucked up and you shouldn't be saying masculine. This masculine is about, maybe this masculine done smelt the fish or something. Maybe they finally done woke up from these damn love spells and these fucking sex magics and all this bullshit. Because I don't see how the fuck this masculine even stuck around with this whole, this, the way this bitch smells. Masculine had to be up under some kind of motherfucking spell. Or maybe Masculine don't see this person like that. Or this bitch could have just been hiding the, the scent or something. This is not BB. This is a permanent fucking odor, this whole guy. This is a nasty ass fucking karmic ass dumb ass bitch. Who swears that she's the shit. Because she got a little bit of clout. But only off of this Masculine. This is a bitch that people look up to and I don't know how. Cause this whole finna be exposed in a second and everybody gonna know what this bitch been up to and nobody's gonna respect these bitches period okay here guys so just make sure you um stick to whatever it is that you've been doing fam masculine you let go of a, a habit or something or you walked away from some shit make sure you stick with that don't let nothing come in negative or derogatory and make you change what you've been doing because you're on a roll okay here hope this up guys